Greetings to all and a warm welcome to the concluding part of the module on CH activation. In this course, you learned the basic concepts about CH activation. We systematically covered the main mechanisms of the CH bond cleavage initiated by metals, the selectivity determining factors in CH transformations, and some modern directions in the field of CH activation. This lecture is devoted to the description of selected applications of modern developments in CH functionalization. Traditional approaches to conjugated oligomers and polymers are based on cross-coupling reactions. The first option involves the coupling of RNs possessing two organometallic functionalities with dihalogenated RNs. The second option is based on the self-coupling of RNs possessing both organometallic and halide functionalities. Conjugated oligomers and polymers prepared by these methodologies can be applied as organic semiconductors, fluorescent probes, etc. Selected examples can be seen here. Similar oligomers and polymers can be prepared using CH activation of aromatic systems. The replacement of traditional cross-couplings by modern direct CH aerolations can revolutionize this field of research, as CH activations demonstrate high atom economy and sustainability. The research on theophenes conducted by the group of Doucette from the University of Rennes has significantly influenced modern developments in this field. The Doucette group has published over 150 papers describing highly efficient palladium-catalyzed CH aerolations involving theophenes, perhaps the most extensively studied systems among RNs. Consequently, oligomers and polymers demonstrating promising properties are currently prepared by palladium-catalyzed CH aerolation of theophene derivatives, as described in this general scheme. The list of the most frequently used theophene derivatives is shown in red, while the most important aryl halides are indicated in blue. Modern developments in CH activation have found applications in the total synthesis of natural products and other complex systems. In here, you can see Dragmacid and D, a natural product isolated from sponges. The group led by Atami from Nagoya University suggested and successfully performed the total synthesis of this natural product, mainly relying on direct CH transformations. Specifically, they utilized multiple CH aerolations, as will be described in what follows. They began with the palladium-catalyzed CH aerolation of the silyl-protected theophene, using an iodinated indole derivative. In the next stage, they performed the reductive desulfurization of the newly introduced theophene, followed by the replacement of protecting groups at nitrogen and oxygen with a methoxymethyl protecting group, abbreviated as MOM. This step was succeeded by a palladium-catalyzed oxidative aerolation at the third position of the indole with the inoxide of pyrazine. Subsequently, an acid and hydride mediated intramolecular migration of the oxygen atom from the inoxide to the second position of the pyrazine ring was carried out. This was followed by an acid catalyzed electrophilic substitution at the indole ring of 6 bromoindole. At this stage, Friedelcraft's chemistry was involved, distinct from CH activation. During this process, methoxymethyl protecting groups were removed as they are labeled under acidic conditions. In the final stage of the synthesis, they halogenated the alpha position of the carbonyl subunit, followed by cyclocondensation with guanidine to afford the imidazole ring. Overall, the synthesis included two CH aerolations and a Friedelcraft's aerolation. Now, let me describe two examples of the synthesis of commercial pharmaceuticals. The production of the anti-inflammatory drug diclofenac can involve a CH activation step. In 2010, the group led by you developed a palladium-catalyzed approach for carboxyl-directed CH iodination of RNs. Their methodology was quite successful for a range of substituted RNs, as presented here. The reaction worked well even for electron-deficient substrates, which are normally inactive for electrophilic aromatic substitutions. As a potential application of this reaction, they suggested and successfully performed the synthesis of diclofenac. They prepared the iodinated phenylacetic acid using palladium-catalyzed CH iodination, followed by copper-mediated almond amination to yield diclofenac in 61% yield. In another paper, scientists from Pfizer developed a novel approach to celecoxib involving a CH aerolation step. Initially, they prepared the sulfonamide, which was subsequently coupled with a trifluoromethylated pyrazole via copper-catalyzed almond amination. The resulting pyrazole derivative was selectively aerolated at position 5 using palladium acetate combined with Beller's ligand. The subsequent deprotection of the sulfonamide gave celecoxib in a 69% yield. One of the key approaches in modern drug discovery involves the late-stage functionalization of potential drug candidates or commercial drugs. 
This method allows for the rapid preparation of libraries of biologically active substances for biotists. The modern developments in CH activation can greatly facilitate drug discovery through late-stage CH functionalization, as demonstrated in previous lectures. Here is another interesting example of late-stage CH functionalization, elaborated by the group of Barron in collaboration with scientists from Leo Pharma. The focus of their work was on analogs of the antibacterial natural product Hongo Kersen A. They prepared two analogs with directing groups such as perfluorinated amide or carboxyl group. Utilizing directing group-assisted CH functionalization, they successfully introduced a variety of functional groups into these molecules. This included CH aminations, arylations, amidations, olefinations, hydroxylations, and alkylations. Further biological examinations revealed that the prepared analogs of Hongo Kersen A demonstrated enhanced antibacterial activity. To sum it up, modern developments in CH functionalization allow for the effective synthesis of materials, natural products, pharmaceuticals, and biologically active ingredients. Further advancements in the field may eventually replace traditional cross coupling approaches, which rely on pre functionalized starting materials with direct CH transformations. In conclusion, I want to highlight the scientists who have made a significant impact on the development of CH activation. All the academics described here have well-established websites detailing their research and publications. If you wish to delve deeper into a specific CH transformation, I encourage you to explore the works of the researchers mentioned below. The actual boom we have witnessed in this field was driven by the development of pyridine-based directing groups in the Sanford group. The group led by you has also contributed significantly by developing many other efficient directing groups and transformations. The research conducted by Sanford and Yu was primarily focused on aromatic systems. Key advancements in directing group-assisted CH transformations of aliphatic compounds were made in the groups of Dogulus and Chatani. Here are some other scientists who have made a significant impact on the development of selected aspects of CH activation. For instance, if you are interested in CH aerylation, I would suggest considering the works of Fongnil. If hydroarylation via CH activation catches your interest, you should explore the research from the groups of Bergman and Elman. For those intrigued by photoredox catalysis, the works from Macmillan's group are worth exploring. If the application of first-row transition metals and CH activation is your focus, Ackermann's group has valuable contributions. CH insertion of carbons was predominantly studied by the Davis group while for the insertion of nitrines, you should check the works from Dubois Group. For CH methylation, refer to the works from Myora and Hartwig. Hartwig, among others, is renowned for systematic studies on the mechanisms of selected CH transformations. Oxidative and radical CH transformations were primarily studied in Lay's group. If you are interested in the total synthesis and applications of CH activation, you should explore the works from the groups of Barron and Atami. Finally, for those interested in understanding exact mechanisms and theoretical studies on CH activations, checking the works from the groups of Schoenbeck, Gorlski, and Musave is recommended. Most of these scientists used to be part of a scientific community known as the Center for Selective CH Functionalization, led by Hu Davies. They have an official website and a YouTube channel where you can find numerous videos covering modern trends in the field. While I believe the Center for Selective CH Functionalization is no longer active, the valuable material and wonderful lectures produced in the center are still available. I appreciate your time and thoughtful consideration. Best wishes for your midterm evaluations and continued success throughout the rest of the course.